President Obama is the first mixed president. And it's a shame because I remember in 2008 seeing all his, you know, campaign commercials and stuff like that. It would show his mama, his white mom, and his um, white grandparents. And they raised him. They raised him. And it, to me, it's almost like he's dissing his white side. Because he should be proud that he's mixed. He, I know he is, but he should be embracing that he's the first mixed president. His, um, he was raised by a white family. And, you know, why, why, why should he, you know, hang to one side and not the other side? It doesn't make a lot of sense to me that he wants to, you know, just be all for being the first black American president. And if I was mixed, I wouldn't like that. Because that, that's telling me, you know, do I got to pick a side too? Am I either going to be on the white side or the black side or, you know, whatever race you might be mixed with other than white or black. But if I was mixed, I would be upset about that. President Obama, that's a daggum shame. You are the first mixed president, and I don't understand why media sources won't get it right. You know, he needs to take that role on because that's what he is. He's not 100% black. He's 50% black, 50% white. He probably got other stuff too, who knows, but I'm just saying, you know, since he got a white mom and black dad. Um, but, yeah, if I, if I was mixed, I would just be ashamed of that. But, you know, I, I guess that's how it is when you're mixed. You, you're, you have the luxury of choosing what you really want to be what crowds you want to be in, or how you want to be labeled. And if he wants to be labeled as the first African-American president, uh, I cannot stand that word. But, you know, I guess that's his choice. But, again, if I was mixed, I just would be very ashamed of it that he chose a side instead of embracing the whole, you know, thing that he's mixed.